Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through steps I took to create animated character. As you can see, I can talk, use hand gestures, and I can also stand up and walk. As you can see, I can talk, use hand gestures. Let's dive right in. All the video clips you just watched were created without spending a dime. In the next four minutes, I'm gonna show you four simple steps that you can take to create animated avatars that can talk and walk. Let's get started. First, you need to create your first animated avatar photo. You can use ChatGPT image generator, but I used OpenArt. To sign up with OpenArt, click the link below and after signing up with your email, you're gonna land on this platform. Before you start creating anything in OpenArt, first change the image output to 1 and you choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio if you are creating long form videos. Then add the prompt to generate your first animated avatar. Here is mine. I said create a 3D cartoon young girl YouTuber. She is speaking while seated on the chair. She is facing the camera. The background is beautiful as a YouTube studio. Okay, and then I click to generate and open art gave me this photo. Once you're satisfied with your first creation, you can put that photo as a reference photo. Then in your prompt, just change the action and the settings of the character and open art will create your character demonstrating the actions you put in the area or setting you mentioned. Now that we have our images, let's turn them into videos. For this one, we're gonna use Kring A. Once you sign up, you're going to be greeted with this interface. Upload your image right here and add a prompt and put a negative prompt. For the negative prompt, I put weird hands, bra and weird creations and click generate. Continue doing the same with all your photos. Let's create the audio for our characters. For this one, we're going to use a server 2 called 11 Labs. If you don't have an account, sign up with the 11 app and once you sign up, you're going to be greeted with something like this. Choose the voice that matches your character. In my case, I chose Samantha. Add the prompt and click generate speech. Then download all your audio files onto your computer. Now that we have the audios, let's move on to lip syncing. And for this one, we're going to use sync.so. Once you land on sync.so, click on try for free. And then you're going to land on this platform, click on this create button, and then you're going to be greeted by this interface. Upload the video that you generated with Kring AI, and then upload the audio that you created with the 11 Lab. If your audio is longer than the video, what will happen is you have the option to choose from a list of four options. You can loop the video, you can bounce the video, you can cut off the audio, or you can slow down the video. This allows you to create audios that are longer than 10 seconds. Once the audio and the video has been uploaded, you can click on this button. And then sync.so is gonna start lip syncing your video. Once it's done, you're gonna see a button called uh, lip synced. And then on the top, you're gonna click on the button to download. One side note, down there you're gonna see something like expected cost, or up there you're gonna see live usage. The free plan of Sync.so does show those dollars. Don't worry about it because it's 100% free, especially if you're on free plan. Now that you are done, you can download and this is what I got. As you can see, I can talk, use hand gestures, and I can also stand up and walk.